Hey Sam, thought you might like to see your new outboard. There's the uh, 4AWG cable. Okay, Getting ready to hook it back up to the radio. Okay, there's your high speed, uh, internal high speed fans. Okay, I'll show you the uh, other one once I get it situated. Okay, Samuel, I wanted to show you uh, your thermostatic control in action. There's the relay board there providing power going out to the fan. You notice I, I added a pigtail over here and uh, mounted the connector outside of the chassis because I was going to put it right there but the problem with that is I couldn't tighten the nut. Once I put it on there, there wasn't enough room in between there and there for the socket. So what I did was put a, uh, a pass through there and then ran it out to uh, a pigtail and plugged it in, plugged the fan into the pigtail. But there's your uh, uh, relay board right there. Here's the, uh, the thermostat control. You can see it just kicked off. It just I've been talking on the radio just so I could get it to come on. The little fans are still running a little bit. Let me uh, just key down on it. See how long it takes it to come back on. Now it, it will work better with the covers on it because this actually it's that that temperature probe is touching that uh, the heat sink on that stanchion there. And you can tell when you key this damn thing it sucks the juice because those fans will stop. I'm gonna have to I've got a temperature probe those handheld jobs and there the, the big fan just kicked on with just me keying it down. Okay, so I think I got it set pretty close. Uh, it should cool down pretty quick. But heat sinks uh, just warm. It's not. It's not hot. Might be. Maybe I should cut it off or adjust it so it doesn't come on quite so quick. Like I said, right now the uh, heat sink is just warm. It's not hot. Hang on a second. Okay, I think I got it a little closer that time. The heat sink's getting pretty warm now. It just kicked on. Off. You can see why the relays engaged. You got both red LEDs on down there, and both green LEDs on here. It was very hard to find a mounting position for uh, both of these. As you can see, I got very limited room between the back of this thing and the back of the heat sink here. The only place, only good place for me to mount this little guy was on the side here. Okay, uh, still a little worried about. I know that that's 3M scotch double-sided tape, but it's, it's only touching a few areas. 
and if it gets really hot it may uh, may turn loose which means it won't be touching the heat sink right now I've got it up against the heat sink pretty good uh, I may drill a hole in the side of the uh, the heat sink right there see that little hole underneath there I might drill a hole through there and put a screw and nut on it make sure it stays in place but there's the fan you can see the I'm pretty sure you get wind noise on the microphone for me holding it down there okay and it just cut off the big one just cut off little ones are still running but they're slowing down so I think it's pretty close Okay. All right. Let me get the covers on. Okay. Problem solved. I use some of this high temp JB Weld high temp red silicone in there. Uh, I needed it to hold the connector on and also to make sure that this little guy didn't fall down into. Uh, the bottom there maybe short something out so I added some of that silicone on there too so that if the uh, double-sided tape does let go it won't go anywhere uh, this stuff is good up to 650 degrees Fahrenheit so with all the cooling we got on here hopefully it'll never get to that point okay all right more to come I'm gonna let it dry first and then put it back together at uh let's see what voltage I'm at here 13.8 okay I'm on this power supply 75 amp power supply the peak meter the meter on the right has a 1000 watt slug in it the RMS meter the meter on the left has a 500 watt slug in it. So the meter on the left, we're going to be uh, reading the center scale, 50 equals 500. The meter on the right, we're going to be reading the bottom scale, 100 equals 1,000. So at 13.8, it should do about 7, 750, somewhere in their peak. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio, audio, hello, hello, audio it does let's see what it is, is on RMS audio a little bit over 500 that's at 13.8 you verify that yep 13.8 okay now we're gonna bump it up a little bit to about 14.8 or 14.6. I'm almost there. I need to set the camera down for a second. Oops. Get this puppy right on 14.8. That right there. Okay, 14.803. That's why I'm taking the measurement. Okay, now let's see what kind of wattage we got to be between eight and nine hundred. Hello audio, audio one two, one two, audio, hello, hello, audio, audio one two. Yes indeed, audio, well over five hundred. And what does the amperage look like? Audio, I'd say that's about 70 amps. Audio, right at the limit of the power supply. So I'm not going to go any higher with it. It's, it's doing what it's supposed to and that fan is kicking on and off like it should so Sam I think you're all set there buddy this is only the second mobile that I've done with this uh, thermostatically controlled uh, relay for the fan and it works out really nice I mostly do this in on base stations when I add amps to base stations but this is working good. You can see the fans running on here. 
it's lit up when it's running when it's not running it'll be uh, the LEDs will be out there's your 2879 red dots they are screaming now you can actually run this thing about you know 15 and a half I wouldn't go much higher than 15 and a half, but 15 and a half, 15.8, somewhere around that area, you'll be fine. Okay? I hear the small fan slowing down now. And that is your high speed small fan. I've already threw away the uh, one that came out of it. You'd been running out for a year with those in there, so I just threw them away. Uh, that's how I did your power for the new fans, the new high speed fan. Started them directly to the poles. Uh, I think that'll, and the big fan just cut off. Let's see that. Back down to one LED. Okay. Sit here and watch it a minute. The big fan may come back on if it, if it ain't cooling down good enough. But that's nice. It works real well. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off and uh, put it together. and I'll do one more final video probably. Okay. More to come. Okay, Sam, got it all put back together. I just got the screws stuck in there. I ain't got them tight yet. Uh, got to do the 24-hour burn-in. And once all that passes, I'll tighten everything down, slap a sticker on it. But there's your fan under there. And uh, the thermostat control is all hooked up. We're at 14.9 volts on this one. This is my 100 amp. Uh, mean well power supply. I've got it set for 14.9 volts. I haven't changed the meters. The meter on the right is peak. Got a thousand watt slug in it. Meter on the left is average. Got a 500 watt slug in that. Okay. Yellow audio. Oh. Audio over a thousand audio about 65 65 amps kind of hard for me to get a constant audio here we go 68 amps right there 14.9 volts we're at a thousand watts and over 500 watts RMS that was on sideband. Let's see how it does on AM. Hello, audio, audio one two, one two, audio over a thousand peak on AM. Okay, you're cooking. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good up there. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio one two, one two, audio. And just heard the relay kick on and turn on your big fan. So the radio should stay cool now. Not any trouble whatsoever. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. It's not even straining to put this thing over the thousand watts. Look at that. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, audio. I'll tell you. This combination here just works. These and the uh, 2970s, they will uh, definitely put out some power. Okay, Sam, sure hope you enjoy your radio. Uh, we've got the upgrade all done up for you. Got the 4AWG power cable. I got to uh, make the other part of it. Uh, the part that will go inside your vehicle but you're all set 
should go out probably next Monday or Tuesday. I, like I said, I got to do the 24-hour burn-in first. Okay. Seven three.